Going back to the restart zone. Again, race leader Mark Trex Jr. First into the gas. Door oh, to contact. Race. The six falling back quickly. Big crash back here. Here comes Blaney around. Kyle Busch going in. Will oh. they miss the wall? A close call there. Blaney may have gotten into the, he did hard into the inside wall. Heavy damage to the front of that car. Man. That must have been a pretty hard impact. We don't see these cars suffer that much damage. Just recently, with the improvements to the front and rear clip, they've made them a little more collapsible so that they do uh, collapse so that the driver doesn't take so much of the, the blunt of that force. You can see right there above the car where the car impacted this wall on the inside. AMR safety crew immediately to Ryan. That is heavy damage. The front of that car is really destroyed. Yeah. That wall right there, concrete wall on the interior of this racetrack. And you put Safer Barrier all the way around this place on the inside, outside, and you sometimes don't put it somewhere. Cars have a way of finding those areas. We've went through this on all types of circuits throughout the series. Cars go in places you never thought they would. It almost looked as though he couldn't steer it away from that wall, too, because he was headed in a straight line right at the wall when we saw the eight be able to veer off and go a different direction and not make contact. And just a just a weird series of events that put him in motion toward that wall. He's getting down on the ground, getting some great treatment here from the AMR safety crew. He is out of the car. They will make the mandatory trip to the infield care center to get checked out. Doctor that travels all the time with the AMR safety crew down there. Let's take another look at what happened. So the six car struggles, and you have to wonder how that stacked up. Everything here. Kyle Busch gets in the back of the 12 and turns him around. Yeah, I mean, he just couldn't avoid couldn't steer the car away from the, the direction it was going. Now, I don't think there's anything Blaney could have done to change where this car was headed. Yeah, that all started way ahead of him, and right there, oh, that is such a massive hit. Yeah. See, it started way in the front, and now it's just a stack up. Alex Bowman into the door of the eight right there. A little contact on the right front of this 48 car. Blaney gets off the brakes, trying to hope that that car is going to start to turn and he can correct it. This could have been a whole lot worse. You know, the car not being able to accelerate. Watch this, though. the angle of impact is what is bad about that wreck right there. Not even, it's not, the speed of a car matters, but the angle of impact, and this is, Almost a straight head-on impact as the car goes to the wall. Look at that. You know, look at the look at the left front and the right front. The right they almost hit at the same time, and that is that's how this is very hard to absorb that energy. It, if it hits a glancing blow, it does not have near the g-forces. But when it's head-on like that, it's it is a ton of g-forces. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports and NBC YouTube channel.